happiness is a state of tranquility. It means don't allow anyone to disturb your mind. How mind is disturbed? Buddha taught this technique to his disciples, but they couldn't learn. He is one of the great figures, great, great character of Buddhism, Ananda, first disciple of Buddha. So they, went, they both went for begging with the bowls in their hands at Raj Grahi, Bihar. And during those days, it was a fashion, it became a fashion. Many people imitate somebody like, great like Buddha. Everybody wanted to become Buddhist, shave the head, men and women. So one day he said, Ananda, son, this is not good. He said, why? He said, my, now my mission will only last up to 500 years. He said, Master, what are you talking? He said, I'm telling you the truth, son. All these people have joined my mission, those who do not know anything about it. It's dangerous now. Now they are going to ruin it. He said, do you worry? He said, no, I don't worry for myself, but I pity them. Because when they go home, they will be not accepted there. And it happened. When such vikshus wanted to go home, they were afraid of going home because nobody would accept them. Oh, you have become a swami. You are coming home. What business do you have to come back? Who will accept you in society? Then, those young boys and girls, both remain vikshus and they got into relationship which destroyed Buddha's mission. But Anand followed Buddha literally. If it following Buddha li literally, those who have read the Bible very carefully will understand. Peter the Rock even was dishonest at the last moment and deceived Christ. He was not loyal. Peter the Rock. It happens. So they are Anand and Buddha, they both go with begging bowl. Viksham Bhavati Viksham De This is a saying that a monk says, shaven head, tall, handsome man, here goes. And this woman was tired. She said, whatever I cooked for me, for my children, all these mundis, shaven head people have taken away. I have nothing to give. I am sick of these people. And it's a custom if somebody comes to your door, you have to give something. So she got angry. There was a filth passed by the child. She picked up that filth with a spoon and said, Buddha, you deserve it. Come on, have it. And Anand got angry. So my, you woman, you behave like that to my Lord, the enlightened one. You'll go to hell. And Anand, Buddha looked calmly to her. Don't talk like that. She's giving me something. It depends upon you whether I take it or not. He gently said, Ma, Mother, Please keep it to yourself. I don't need it. This attitude should be there in life. If anybody says it pleasant, accept it. If anyone says unpleasant, instead of getting upset, reject it. I don't need it. Why do you want to make your mind a garbage disposal center? By accepting somebody said bad, somebody said this. Many women come crying to me. My husband has been very nasty. I said, did he hit you? No. He called me bad names. I said, you leave them to me and go home. OK, give me the same bad names. I cannot do it. I said, he gave you bad names because you are weak. 
Where are those names? Why your mind is affected? Because you have allowed your mind to be affected by such weaknesses. Who praises you? You are smiling. Somebody is offering garland, somebody is touching feet of a Swami, somebody is becoming, says, great man, this Swami. Swamis are not allowed to accept all this. No. This is like poison for them. On the path of renunciation, just doesn't mean anything. What you talk about a Swami, what you think about him. If he's a Swami, he'll be not affected. So he looked at Ananda, he said, Ananda, why did you call her bad woman and why did you curse her that she will go to hell? He said, Master, you are my Lord, I can bear it, I cannot bear you in insult. She said, I was, he said, I was not insulted. If somebody wants to give you something, please don't take. In your day, daily life, you should have that attitude. If anyone says anything negative, I will not accept it. I will be not affected by it. You watch your strength, I tell you, you are very weak. Watch. Somebody says you are stupid and you feel sad. How weak are you? Are you not weak? Very weak. Because everyone says you are a great man, so you have become great man. The greatness has been thrusted upon you by suggestions. That's not a sound thing. It's a sorry plight. Don't do that. Don't live your life on suggestions. You are good, so you smile. You are bad, you feel sad. Don't do that. You are called reactionary. You should not do that. It's a very injurious one. Learn to build your own opinion about yourself. Learn to watch your progress. 